بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مرحلة ثالثة اسم اللغة الإنجليزية السادة محمد حسين بدري Today we have chapter number five It talks about word formation processes okay word formation processes you uh, you are familiar with with this chapter you are familiar with with uh, morphology you have studied morphology in the second stage uh, and you have studied the word forma formation processes in details so this is not something new for you uh, in this uh, lecture I I'm, I'm going to explain uh, some common terms that are related to what that are related to word formation first etymology what is etymology let's study or know what's etymology etymology the study of the origin and history of a word this is the definition of etymology to what it studies the origin and history of a word a term which like many of of our technical words comes to us through Latin. This is the origin of the word from the Latin, okay? It means logica, logica, study of, and is not to be confused with it in terminology. Don't be confused with this word, okay? It means insect. So it is etymology. So this is the definition of etymology, okay? When we look closely at etymologies of less technical terms, we soon discover that there are many different ways in which words, new words, can enter the language. We should keep in mind that these processes have been at work in the language for some time and a lot of words in daily use today were or at one time consider barbaric misuses of the language. It is difficult now to understand the views expressed in the early 19th century over the tasteless innovation of word like handbook or other expressed by London newspapers in 1909. So this is just an exhibition of uh, the, 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 this terminology and an exhibition of the different words during the century. So this is what's important here is just the definition. We have another process, we have coined. One of the least common processes of word formation in English is coined. Okay, the, what is the definition? It means the invention of totally new terms. Okay, you know that language is what? It's changeable. It is not stable. Language is changing from time to time, from generation to generation. Some new terms appear and some what? Fade away. Okay. Some come with a new connotation, new meanings. So this is language. Language is flexible. It's not stable, dynamic. So new words are added to dictionary. Some new words are added to dictionary. Some other words are what? Are dropped from the dictionary. Some words which may not use in, uh, which, weren't used in a, a generation in the past but now they can be used in, 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 in public no problem with, with them for example the word pregnant in, in Victorian age uh, the word was not used okay it, it is considered a terrible word so they when when a woman is a pregnant they they, they say for example or she says I'm eating for two or there or, or a cake in the oven but nowadays it's okay to say, uh, the, the woman, it's okay to say I'm pregnant. You see here? So this is language. So one of the processes, one of uh, word processes, word formation processes is coined. So we have what? Invention, the creation of new words, new terms. New terms appear in daily life. Now in our daily, everyday life, we have so many new uh, words. Uh, even in Arabic we have many words in English uh, last week we have a new word it is cov COVID yet if you if you know this word COVID yet okay co COVID COVID coronavirus idiot you know idiot fool so cov COVID yet okay so this is a new term COVID yet it means uh, someone who who buys uh, goods 
who buys goods too much and abnormal, or someone who doesn't care about coronavirus. Okay, he's careless. So we, this, this new word is what is inserted in a dictionary. You can symbol a check, internet, and write COVID yet, and you will see this that this word is what is inserted in dictionary. So this is what this is what we mean by coin. It means that new words come to uh, surface. New words are added. New words are used by people. Okay. For example, here we have some words, okay, aspirin, nylon, vaseline, zebra, yeah. Another word here we have, for example, we have Google, you know Google. Even now Google, we use it as a verb. When we say Google it, it means search, Google this. For example, Google COVID, COVID yet, Google it. It means search about it, okay. Maybe sometimes we can, some people use Facebook. I'm Facebooking, I'm, I'm telegramming, uh, I'm vibering, or viber me, okay? Instagram me. You see, in this way, that these new words, what, uh, are inserted in dictionary, okay? If some of them do, are not inserted in dictionary, they will be inserted sooner. They will be inserted in dictionary. New words based on the name of person or place, we have what? Eponymies. Eponymies, okay, based on the name of a person or a place. New words based on name of person or a place. Okay, sandwich, like for example, sandwich. Like for example, Kentucky. Borrowing. You know, you are familiar with borrowing, okay? Simple borrowing when you when uh, language what you know all languages they are not pure purely made yani. i mean uh, some languages borrowed from each other and some words for example some words found in arabic language they are their origin i mean their origin uh, origin is from whom of from which language from turkish language or from Persia, or from English, Latin, okay? This is borrowing. So let's see what's borrowing here. Most of, one of the most common sources of new words in English is, but it's borrowing. That's the taking over. You take over words from other languages, okay? Similarly, when you take words from other language, it's more than just borrowing because English does not give them back. We have so many words. Here, yeah, for example, Leilag, Piano, Italy, Italian. For example, if you remember last uh, year in second stage, uh, Kiroshi, okay? The Kiroshi is Japanese word, me means that because of overworking, overwork, okay? So this is what, this is borrowing. Uh, we have in Arabic language, do we have uh, Borrowing, borrowed words or not? Yes, we have, for example, radio, radio, or television, telefas, and from English, English radio, sandwich, and we can have sandwich. We borrowed from English language. You see here. Even English, they have cam camel, camel, yani jamel, camel, camel, jamel, camel, camel. Okay. Turkish language, when you, uh, you, most of you are familiar with Turkish language. They have, for example, Sa'a, Sa'a, okay? Maraba, Marhaba, Maraba, Maraba, okay? So th th there are so many, many, many words, okay? Other languages, of course, borrow terms from English, like supermarket, okay? Mathana ana supermarketo, the Japanese taken from English. Etc. You can read more and more details, the same details, yes. Another type, we have type of borrowing, which is called loan translation or caduc. Okay. When, when, what, what does it mean? There is this, it means that there is a direct translation of the elements of a word into Baroque language. Direct translation. Yes. 
for example here clear we have a clear example for example the English expression moment of truth moment of truth is believed to be calic from the Spanish phrase uh, el momento de la verdad okay el momento el momento de la verdad this is the origin from Spanish el momento de la verdad it is moment of truth so this is what Lowen translation calic also we have this for example nowadays Spanish some Spanish speakers eat perros canyons dogs hot or hot dogs okay the American concept of boyfriend was a borrowing with sound modification yani change in sound into Japanese as boyfriend boyfriend but as a calic into Chinese as male friend or non ben gyo non ben gyo ni hao due to the virus <laughs> compounding we come to another word formation process is compounding some of the examples we have just considered there is a joining of two separate words okay when we have what joining of two separate words to produce a single form this is compounding Thus, lean and word are combined to produce lean word in German. So this is compounding. Okay, here we have some examples: torno, fingerprint, sunburn, honeymoon, okay, etc. Some of them two words together. Some of them they are separated. Some of them with hyphen. This is hyphen. We call this hyphen. See here. This is hyphen full-time job, part-time job. They are hyphened. Okay, this word are hyphened. Blending, another process is blending the co combination of two separate forms to produce a single or new term. Okay, so we have what blending is typically accomplished by taking only the beginning of one word and joining it to the end of the other word. This is the definition of what of a blend we blend for example the word gasoline is made from alcohol okay plus what gas gasoline gasoline blended refer to gaso gas hole gas hole and another example which is easy this is easy for example we have smoke and fog smoke and fog smoke and fog we blend we take the first two and here we the last two smoke part smoke and for example we said it is smoggy the, the weather is smoggy yani it is what it's fog it's foggy because of smoke so this is blending we have so many examples you can read them to get some benefit Clipping. What is clipping? The element of reduction that is not subtle in blending is even more apparent in the process described as clipping. We clip, we chopped off, okay, some word. We cut. This occurs when a word of more than one syllable, okay, facsimile or facsimile is reduced to short form fax. Okay, we have this example advertisement or advertisement at Brasilia pra. Okay, ka. You see here fa, fan, flu, perm, and fluenza. It, this, mic. You see here an example exam, examination, gym, gymnastic, math, mathematics, pro, professor. A particular type, we have a particular type of prediction favored in Australian and British English reduces forms technically known as hypochorism. This is another type. In this process, a longer word is the definition. A longer word is reduced to a single syllable. Single syllable, is here. For example, we say Y or IE is added to the end. This is the definition. This is a, the, the process that results in movie. We also have moving pictures. Then a movie, tally, tally, sorry, television, or see. 
They use Ocean, Australian, Barbie, Barbecue, Bookie, Bookmaker, Hunky, Handkerchief. Okay, this is what this is. Uh, clipping. Back formation, a very specialized type of protection process, is known as what back formation. Typically, a word of type, usually a noun, is reduced to form a word of another type, usually verb. This is the definition. A good example of back formation is a process by whereby the word television first come into use and then the verb telev televise. Okay, the notation don donate, emotion emote. You see, etc. Conversion. A change in the function of a word. As for example, when a noun comes to be used as a verb, without any reduction, no reduction, no change in the word. Back formation, we what? We change, we, we make reduction. T television, televised. But here, without any reduction. So this is conversion. You see here? Change in the function of a word from noun to verb, from verb to noun, from verb to adjective, from adjective to noun. You see here? Other labels for this very common process as category change, sometimes it's called category change, sometimes it's called functional shift, like bottle, bottle, butter, chair, occasion. All of us know chair, chair, and a cursi. But sometimes we can't make chair as a verb, fail. Metanin. Someone has to chair the meeting. Someone has to chair the meeting. Do you want to chair the meeting? Okay, you see here? Do you want to chair? Uh, I want to chair the meeting. I want to chair the meeting. We know bottle. We bottled the home brew last night. Butter. We know butter. But here it is used as what? Verb. Have you buttered the toast? You see, must, must. You must go out. We can say it is a must. It is a must. It is an obligation. Yani. It is an obligation. It is a must. Okay. Here we have guess, see, guess, must, spies, spy off. A must, a spy, okay. Dirty, empty, empty, this adjective, it is empty, the room is empty. But we you can say, we want to empty the room. We want to empty the room. And for the Gurfa, for the you can read, read these examples, read more and more. We have acronymies. Acronymies or acronymies are new words formed from the initial letters of a set of other words. This can be formed such as CD, compact disc, okay, or VCR, video cassette recorder, where the pronunciation consisting of saying each separate letter. This is the definition. But then I don't NATO or NATO, NASA, NASA, or UNESCO, CISA, ISIS, Daesh. You see here, okay, we use the first letter of each word. Name of organizations are often designed to have their acronymy, etc. Matter of mothers against drug driving. M A D D. Okay. M A D D. Matter of who? Another one. The Health Army. Who? World Health Health Organization. Derivation. Derivation. In our list so far, we have not dealt with what is by. For the most common word formation process to be found in the production, this process is called the derivation. Okay, so it is what uh, the production of new words. We can make new words, but what the process of word formation? It is accomp accomplished by means of large number of small bits, bits of the English language, which are not usually given separate listening listings in dictionary. These small bits are gen generally described as affixes. Affixes, you are familiar with this. You know affixes, 
okay and the types of affixes prefixes suffixes infixes okay you are familiar with this you know these details you have studied them last year last stage okay these are affixes okay this mislead prefix at the beginning suffix suffix at the end infix inside I have a change inside Yes. Come him you. Come him you. This is uh, just comparison. Talks about come him. يعني ال ال اللي يسموها اللغة الخميرية. Okay. We could view this inserted forms as special version of infix fixing in English over a much better set of examples. Just as examples from come come him you language spoken in Southeast Asia. In Asia. This is in Asia. In Laos, near Vietnam, this is how they use uh, suffixes and all infixes. Yes, you can read it for information. Multiple processes. We, we have studied all uh, the processes here in this book. Uh, so sometimes we we say it's multiple. Some some words have multiple what processes multiple. Uh, word formation have more than one. I mean, uh, some words can be added or can be uh, related to more than one process. Not only one process, but more than one process. Okay, can be related to more than one process, not only one uh, process. I will read it. Although we have concentrated on each of these word formation processes in isolation, it is possible to trace the operation of more than one process at work and the creation of a particular word. For example, the term Delhi seems to have become a common English, American English expression via a process of first borrowing Delhi cat scene from German and then claiming that borrowed form. If someone says problems with the project have have uh, some uh, that problems with the project have snowballed. The final word can be analyzed as an example of com compounding, compound in which we have snow and ball. Then why the question high word? It is what is compounding. It's what why because we have snow and ball, two words combined together to form one word, which was then turned into verb through conversion. One. It is also what conversion because it's no ball, it becomes verb. So it was a noun, then it was now it is verb. So it's what more than one process, not only one process. Forms that begin be, began or begin sorry as acronyms can also go through other processes. And in the case or in the use of lace as a verb, the result of back formation from laser and the expression wa was. Waspish attitudes. The economy was with an Anglo Saxon Protestant. Okay. More than more than one word. Okay. A lot of words here. Yeah. You can read. You can read these words. Okay. We have, we have to read analogy. What is analogy? Many of these words of of course have very brief life spam. Okay. So we finish with uh, this chapter. You have to read this chapter. If you have any question, you can uh, ask. You can add any comment if you want to add any comment. Uh, next lecture, we we are going to talk about chapter number six. Okay. Thank you so much. See you.